prepare yourself. Your childhood fears of the monsters in the dark are all coming back. <clears throat> Brittany's coming at you with Five Nights at Freddy's Part 4. So keep an eye on all your toys. Just released July 23rd, Five Nights at Freddy's 4, the final chapter, question mark? is here to scare the pants off of you. Even Markiplier said that this might be the scariest game ever, and he's played some pretty scary games. Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is totally different than the previous three chapters. This time, the terror has followed you home. You are once again protecting yourself from Freddy Fazbear, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy, but now there's other creepy things lurking in the shadows. And this time, rather than a security guard, you play as a child who must survive until 6 a.m. armed with only a flashlight. Your role as a child is still unknown for this chapter, but the setting for this one is in your bedroom and you are presented in the intro as locked in your room five days before the party. Bad parents locking their little baby in the room and he's crying and he's so sad. You have all your creepy stuffed animal friends there with you, but you're still really sad and you're trying to get out of your room. Uh, oh no! Oh no, that's so sad! Also, not surprisingly, the golden Freddy Fazbear on the bed, his eyes follow you as you walk around the room. Once the game starts, you have to keep yourself safe by watching the doors and warding off unwanted creatures that might sneak into your closet or behind you. That is seriously the worst thing is when there's a possibility of something creeping up behind you. That's why I don't play scary games. It's because I will probably have a heart attack if that happens. Your flashlight is the only thing that you have to protect you this time, but you can still close the doors to the hallway and the closet, if that's enough. The flashlight will scare away the things that are creeping at the end of the hallways, but you have to be very careful and listen this time. You are relying on environmental noises to tell you if something is creeping up on you or if it's about to attack. And if something has crept up too close to you, shining your light in it might be the end of the game for you. Also, while the previous chapters could be played by frantically clicking between the security cameras and the doors, the pace that you play this game is much, much slower. And making a move without waiting for cues this time can easily result in game over. And a massive jump scare. The first night is never usually that bad in any of the games, so I'll play through- <laughs> Unless you're PewDiePie. Don't jump scare. Okay. Needless to say, I am too scared to play this game. I was generously given Five Nights at Freddy's 1, but I have yet to work up the courage to actually play it. <laughs> So let me know down below if you guys have played the game and if you like the series and if you think this is actually the last chapter. And also why you think you might be a child this time. I'm kind of curious. If you would like to see more of me, you can visit me on my channel, Brits Games. All my links are down below in the description. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next week. Goodbye. <gasps> it's here, episode four is here. Oh my God. You guys don't know what I've been through. I had the error where the game was crashing because of the headset and... Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.